Honeypath was an Indian trading area long before it was settled by David Greer Sr. in 1791. We have the history of South Carolina's sweetest town coming up this week under the kudzu. In 1770, David Greer Sr. received a land grant from King George III in the 96th District. In 1791, he moved to what is today known as Honeypath, making him the first European settler in the community. Married three times, Greer is the father of 15 children and is buried in Honeypath Cemetery. He lived to be 105. The town's name has provoked some controversy. Some believe it comes from William Honey, who purchased 200 acres northeast of the town in 1788. Others believed that it was a holdover from the Cherokee days, when the Cherokee word for path sounded like honey. The big trail used by the Cherokees was also home to many beehives, leading settlers to call it the Honey Path. The name first appeared in 1855 as Honey Path on Colton's map of South Carolina. Another key pioneer family was that of Obadiah and Jenny Shirley, who built a simple log plantation house in 1826. The house still stands and is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The town was enhanced with the building of a grist mill in 1848 by Emmy Irwin, which served farmers from as far away as 80 miles. While the mill no longer stands, the water wheels can be seen at the Jenny Irwin Carnegie Library, named after Irwin's daughter. Like many small towns in South Carolina, it was the railroad that brought much of Honeypath's early success. There were two different tracks in town. The first was laid in 1855, and a second came in 1911. Train service was both passenger and freight, which allowed local farmers to ship their goods all across the state. Mill life enveloped Honeypath during the early 20th century. The most famous mill in town was the Chicola Mill, founded by James David Hammett. The mill was also the site of one of the most violent labor incidences in South Carolina's history, when seven mill workers were shot and killed during a strike and over 60 were injured in September of 1934. Like many small towns in South Carolina, Honeypath has struggled with the collapse of the textile industry and the closing of the railroads. But recent revitalization has taken hold and the downtown area is experiencing a rebirth. A walk down the west alley of Main Street will reveal many of the town's original Original storefronts still in use, a testament to Honeypath's staying power. Nicknamed the little town with the big heart, Honeypath has quickly become one of the fastest growing bedroom communities in South Carolina. I'm Brian Scott and we have one more story from Honeypath coming up next week right here under the Kudzu.